Alright everybody, what is up? It's Thunder, welcome back. We got some Maddox gameplay here today on the channel. A lot of people have been saying how amazing this gun is, so I figured I'd try it out with the operator mod, the Echo Fire. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. And uh, let's see what I can do right here with it. <laughs> what the hell? Bloop! <laughs> Yo! Did you guys see that shit? Yo, th did that guy even know where I was? It's like he was getting shot at, they just threw the scope up and bloop, just hit me somehow, like... Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, man. Yo, what kind of vitamins are they feeding these kids these days, man? These kids got, like, pinpoint accuracy with, like, lightning-fast reflexes. I mean, holy shit. Man, the odd superhuman, the Blue Panther. That dude wasn't kidding when he said only superhumans could quickscope in this game. Stop putting the Blue Panther in my lobby, dude, please. Anyway, fellas, I mean, hey, we all know that patch 1.13 is dropping soon, man. And I wonder if Tony's going to buff the snipers, man. I don't know. I hope he doesn't. I mean, maybe he'll nerf them. Yo, Kodak. Kodak, what do you think? You think they'll actually nerf the snipers in patch 1.13? I hope so. Okay. Okay. I hope so, too, man, because them snipers got me Z-walking straight out of the lobby, dude. That snipers are ridiculous, man. Anyway, fellas, so I actually saw something I found really interesting on Twitter. Actually, I saw a lot of things. Yo, February has been crazy. February 2019, we're only like four or five days in. But it's been crazy, dude. We got Sir Savage the 21st getting deported back to uh, England. I didn't even know 21 Savage was from England, man. You got uh, my girl Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato Pro, she deleted her Twitter. She deactivated. I don't blame you. Why do famous people tweet anything? If I was famous, I wouldn't say shit. I wouldn't say a damn thing. Because anything you say, someone's going to... Find a way to make it negative. Anything you say, and it's going to be a shit show. That's what people do online. They're bored as hell. They're just looking to start pick a fight with anything. My man Adam Levine taking his shirt off. That, that even that caused controversy. Adam Levine at halftime taking his shirt off caused controversy. What what's wrong with a man taking his shirt off? I mean honestly, I mean the, I guess there's people like yo, how come Janet Jackson could take her shirt off? It's 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 okay for Adam Levine, but not okay for Janet. Yo, I'm cool with Janet Jackson taking her shirt off. I never had a problem with that. I mean, there's a lot of little kids that are watching the Super Bowl. I don't know if they want to see, uh, you know, that type of nudity. But, hey, if it's okay for Adam Levine, then women should be able to take their tops off. Yo, now the halftime show would be lit, baby. Hey, let the female performers take their tops off. I'm cool with it. I'll just have a little man go in the other room. Hey, little man, go in the other room for a second. Uh, the big boys need to watch a halftime show. <laughs> Yo, titty smack that like button if you're cool with females taking the tops off at the halftime show. Yo, I got no problem with a little Janet Jackson wardrobe malfunction or any other of these super hot, smoking hot females they have perform at the halftime show. Please. Hey, if Adam Levine can do it, why can't the females? I'm all for it, man. Hell yeah. Topless performers at the halftime show? Come on in. Taking top off now. Now there's a halftime show, baby. Imagine sitting around with your friends and family watching that shit. That'd be awkward as hell, son. Uh, but the thing I want to talk about most importantly is my man, Michael Condry. Michael Condry has the former head of Sledgehammer Games, uh, former Activision executive, who I guess either quit or was fired. I have no idea. But he is now the president. Okay, he has joined Take-Two and 2K Games as president of the new development studio. Oh my god, Condry's coming to Take-Two and 2K Games to make them shits vulnerable and ordinary, baby. Watch out now. <laughs> NBA 2K will never be the same. You're going to have the basketball, Obsidian Steed, and the supply drops. Vulnerable and ordinary Steph Curry can't hit the three no more. Blake Griffin not going to be able to dunk anymore. You're going to have everybody feeling vulnerable and ordinary. What's he going to do to Borderlands, man? Yo, Condry, leave Borderlands alone, dog, please. Don't mess that game up, dude. I have been looking forward to Borderlands 3 for so long now. Condry, please don't mess that game up, dog, please. Anyway, man, what do you guys think about this? How does this guy keep getting these gigs, dude? How do you keep getting these flashy presidential heads of studio jobs, dude? Condry must got some skills, bro. I don't know. Condry must got it like that. And one thing I do know is that he has nothing to do with Call of Duty anymore. Call of Duty is Condry free, baby. Where is this guy? My sixth sense cone is showing there's somebody behind me. I'm just like, whatever, dude. I don't know. I think it's just glitched. All right, there you go. Now it's working. <laughs> Damn, everything's broken in this game, dude. Everything. 
I'm pretty sure there's nobody behind me back there. But then again, you never know. It could, could be glitched under the map. I have no idea. Let me come back here and check again. Damn, Sniper's Nest going ham, dude. We got Granddad with the Car 98. That kid that blooped me in the intro clip with the Paladin. He's up there, too. We got Face Pajamas. Everybody's up there in the bloop copter. Man. Oh, man. Somebody destroyed my Sniper's Nest? Oh, a Rams fan. Hater. Hater. <laughs> Figures a Rams fan. Oh, here we go. Another Titan user. Here we go. The Law of the Titan. Thou must use Thermal Scope. Thou must use FMJ-1. Thou must use FMJ-2. It's the Law of the Titan. <laughs> have you ever seen a Titan that didn't have those three attachments? Dude, what the hell? Yo, look at this dude. Boots jumping all over the place. Get them boots back on the ground, bitch. Oh, oh, oh my god. I can't see shit. What the hell? <laughs> Damn, that's strobe light cheese, man. That strobe light cheese. Sat him down, though, with the operator mod. His operator mod wasn't as strong as mine, baby. The echo fire. Oh, here he is again. Ah, right, he got me that time. Yo, that's ridiculous, bro. I couldn't see shit. Who the hell can... I like all the operator mods in this game. I think they're cool. But that strobe light is just flat out annoying, bro. That shit. I use it every once in a while, too. Just because it's so troll. And it's fun to use every once in a while. Especially against sweats. Sweats hate that shit. Spitfire sweats. Oh, if you're in a lobby full of Spitfires, man. Bust out that strobe light shoddy cheese, dude. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Get barbecued, bitch. Hit him with the mixtape. Lights out, homie. I absolutely love using this fire break, man. I feel like he's so disrespected. Look at this dude. Get on, son. 200 health. Get melted. Damn, this flamethrower melts people almost as fast as the snipers do. But I feel like the fire break is just super disrespected, super underrated. I mean, look how versatile he is, too, man. Look at this. Like, in any situation. Oh, I think I just overcooked myself there. <laughs> but he's amazing, dude. He's amazing at close quarters. Amazing to use against campers. And, yo, this echo fire... Uh, operator mod on the Maddox. Bro, this thing slaps, dude. I mean, everyone always says how good the Maddox is, and I always used it. I was like, this doesn't really feel like it's as good as everyone says, but then I put the Echo Fire operator mod on it, and now I can see why so many people like the Maddox. Oh my god, what the hell? Damn, look at all those bullets coming out of that hallway. Holy shit. The whole damn family's over there just, uh, just shooting all together like the Power Rangers. All right, guys, let's combine our weapons. Yo, yeah, that was crazy. It's just a hail of bullets came flying out of there. Anyway, man, so, Kondri, I wish you all the best, dude. Honestly, all jokes aside, wish you all the best, man. Go, go have fun over there at NBA 2K, putting jetpacks on LeBron James. And maybe with the skill-based matchmaking, the Warriors will finally lose. Borderlands going to have supply drops now. Oh, my God. Akimbo Sogs with the Secret Shock cheese? Seriously? Yo, look at this shit. Another Secret Shock drone. Yeah, but Recon's most used specialist, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sit down, son. Damn, that dude's rampart was loaded up with attachments. Yo, these dudes ain't playing around in this lobby, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go get him, Cujo. Yeah, sniffing up all that sweat. <laughs> Go get him, Cujo. Somebody said something to me in uh, my last upload where I was talking about how there's no way Recon is the most popular specialist when all my lobbies just infested with profit sweats. Somebody said that it might be skewed for me because of skill-based matchmaking. I mean, look at this. All my lobbies infested with... Oh, it's all you see. Profits, Akimbo Sogs, Spitfires, just sweats everywhere, dude. So maybe because of the skill-based matchmaking, to me, it might seem like Profit is the most used specialist because, let's face it, anyone that knows how to play this game and is looking to get, you know, some kills is going to use Profit just because he's the most cheese specialist in the game. You got a free kill on wheels. Don't have this, though. Hot Pocket Pro, baby. Yeah. Oh, we microwave these noobs. Get on, baby. Don't have no Hot Pocket Pro, though. Oh, he's got a chaining energy beam. It's super easy to drop people with. But he don't have this, though, does he? The mixtape, baby. Straight fire, homie. Oh, get barbecue, bitch. Hitting these dudes with the mixtape. Straight fire. Get on, son. Yo, it's chilly on the summit map, dude. We got to warm these people up. <laughs> oh, get on, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yo, I love this fire break, man. Most underrated specialist in the game. You could even make the argument that he is the best specialist in the game. I mean, you, you could you could make the argument he's that effective. Ain't nothing vulnerable or ordinary about my man Firebreak here. So, anyway, that's all I got. What do you guys think about Condry going to 2K and take two games? Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.